So basically, I'm going to Vegas with my family for Christmas break, which means for this video, I have two days to record in Carmel, which is today, December 24th, and tomorrow, December 25th. But then from there on, we're gonna be in Vegas, baby. Okay, check this out. Tennessee has some play game elevate. But it doesn't compare to California's play game. That's a whole nother level. We got this sick two-toned Rolls Royce Wraith that has dark green and then black on the top, owned locally by that gentleman right there, which also has a 107 Bentley Continental GT Brightling Edition. Oh, the Beamer. Not the Beamer. Look at that. Very classic. And <laughs> the little kid. Oh shit, a DeLorean. I don't know what you guys buy, I ain't never heard of Maserati like that. more in Vanquish. See, now that's clean. Uh, I hate the bitters. Oh. No, Angel! You oh my god! You gotta chill, what? bro. They're gonna get mad. They wouldn't, you wouldn't like it to do that shit to you. Fucking hell. Here you go, crush one. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Look, Ventego. Oh. Oh, I already found a Ventego from Beverly Hills. Let's go. First car spot of the day. Bro, it even has the wing. All right, so I came to the Lambo dealership, you know, hoping there was cars, but they literally have two cars in their whole inventory, and it's stupid windy. They have an R8 and a Urus. That's it. Okay, well, since um this was a letdown, I'm gonna try going to another dealership because there's only two cars here, and I did not think Lamborghini Las Vegas would be this low on inventory, so it was kind of a letdown. But let's go check some other places. over the wind but after we check some other dealerships we can go car spotting on the strip or maybe i'm gonna go car spotting on the strip first and then the dealerships we'll see oh red urus that's clean that's clean oh, damn that's they fucked just up they just stole the lexus parking spot this dude was waiting for like five whole minutes and then this dude comes over here and just takes it damn bro that's messed up Oh, look at Hummer. Oh, yeah. Bro, that Honda is hella ugly. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. What about the Infinity? Porsche? Oh, nice. Yeah, the sparkly white body Infinity. God damn. Look at his front. His whole front is gone, too. Damn, Camry. Oh, I found the first supercar on the strip. Ah, oh, lime green vantage. That's sick. Oh, look at that. I actually, actually, actually really like that. Holy shit, that thing is clean. Oh, oh, Lambo. That black little car. Oh, damn. That sucks. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Sure, sure. Do that. It's, it's a, a Tron it's a Tron Veloster. <laughs> McLaren. Slow, my MG was slow. <laughs> that there's like a valet driver in it. Damn, hey, bro. It met. It, see where it goes. He yeah. literally had like a whole tuxedo on and everything, like a valet Almost driver. Switch his ass out. <laughs> Don't go right behind him. Why not? Fuck that dude. What's he gonna do? Oh, white R8. Nice. He's driving it like he stole it. Watch him take off. There he goes. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. The Cobalt revving at the McLaren. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Bro, I know damn well this is not a real Bravis GLE 350. The Bravis wheels? No way, bro. There's not no real Bravis. Bravis badge? There's no way. No. All right, let's get this going. We're here at Ferrari of Las Vegas. Also, Lotus, Aston Martin, Bentley, and Rolls Royce of Las Vegas. But right here, we got probably the ugliest cars to have ever been made. We got some DBL Lanvins, DBXs, Plaids, Ferraris inside, G Wagons. We got McLarens everywhere. It's crazy. So let's go take a look. So unlike Lamborghini, they actually have a lot of cars. They have a Roma SF90, F8, a Testarossa, Portofino A12 488, another Roma, and then another 488. And this SF90, I think they're selling for over a million dollars. The SF90 is a great car to me, but it does not look like a hypercar. It has the performance of a hypercar, a thousand horsepower, ridiculously fast, but it doesn't look or necessarily sound like a hypercar, so I don't classify it as a hypercar, but I mean, I guess some people do, so teach their own. Check this F8 out right here. A brown interior, that's a very unique spec. I actually do kind of like that, the contrast with the gray. Now the Ferrari Roma, this is their first to ever take out a hybrid, and it looks a little funky from the front, and it's supposed to be a Grand Tour car, but it's, I mean, it's not slow at all. Zero to 60 is like three seconds, and this thing can top out at over 200 miles an hour, which is insane. Now, if I had to pick a car from here, it would either be this F8 or the A12, but I think it would be the A12, because you can't beat a naturally aspirated over 600 horsepower V12 that sounds like a screaming F1 car. This car is being sold for over $650,000, which I think is absolutely ridiculous for an A12. But, I mean, if it's the right car for you, I mean, go ahead and buy it. I would never pay that, but, I mean, eh, somebody's going to buy it, and it's going to be a one hell of a car. Alright, well, I've officially been kicked out of Ferrari for recording, but now I'm a Bentley until they tell me something, so. There isn't much interesting stuff here other than this Continental GT Speed. I love, love this blue. Look at it. Ooh, I don't know. That, that's clean. That's clean. Okay, um, Aston Martin's got some cool cars. They got a few Vantages. They got DB11s. But also, they just announced the new Vantage is going to have a V12 in it. That's going to be pretty cool. And in case you guys didn't know, Aston Martin's V12 are two six cylinders from Ford put together. So, I mean, I, I don't know if it's going to sound that good, but. Alright, now let's head over to Lotus because from the looks of it, I can see an R35 GTR and a few other supercars just chilling there outside, so who knows what's inside. Okay, right away we got the huge G550 4x4 squared and I love this thing. I love G-Wagons, this thing's huge, I love it. And then over here, Ferrari California T, Aston Martin Vantage, got some S-Classes, some Bentleys, and you know, a ton of other stuff. Got a little black Ferrari GTC4 boost, so a Rolls Royce Dawn and hit in the back over here. An R35 GTR and so forth. Alright, well, there wasn't that much inside the actual showroom other than a red GT3, but I didn't really want to record it. But I do have to say, out of all the dealerships I've been to today, Lotus has definitely been my favorite because they've been nice to me. They told me where to go next to maybe check out some hypercars. And they let me record inside if I wanted to. So it was very cool and very nice of them. So thank you, Lotus. All right, I've just arrived to Lotus Cars Las Vegas, or the luxury collection, or whatever this thing is called. But anyways, Matt Black Events or Matt Black Eurus. And inside, I've already seen some SEMA builds. So let's go check that out. Oh yeah, there's also this black M4 GTS, a DBX, and a 720S behind that. Dude, Shira and Wyra. Okay, well, first things first, this is insane. We've got like McLarens all the way, Ferraris, Porsches, GT3 RS for sure. My personal favorite car in here, Lava Orange 3 RS. That thing is, oh, that thing is amazing. And then you come over here across the little hallway and we have a Chiron and a Pagani Wyra along with the McLaren P1 in blue and then a Ventador with a SEMA build on it. All right, this is insane. Lotus told me that they would have some cool cars here. But this, oh my god, look at the Chiron. White and matte black, chrome wheels and a red interior. Then the Wyra, kind of like a matching spec. It's kind of like an ice metallic white 
with carbon fiber in the red pinstripes and a red and carbon fiber interior. Black 488, Aventador SEMA build, and the blue McLaren P1. Alright, now me personally, I love the Pagani Waira. You know, it's maybe not the fastest car, but it's very rare and it looks very, very beautiful, I do have to say. And the way Pagani weaves their carbon fiber, I think that's the best weave I've ever seen on any carbon. Okay, let's talk about the P1 for a second. This thing is sick. This blue, absolutely stunning. Check out the events of them, by the way. But white and black interior and all this carbon, I love the P1. The P1 obviously is like one of the most insane cars. And then from the inside, the roof snorkel sounds absolutely crazy. If you guys haven't heard it, I suggest you watch a video on it. But I mean, all this carbon, the wing, the way the back end is made, the fact that you can see all the components that goes on the back. I don't know. That's why the P1 is one of my like top 10 or top five favorite cars. All right, but the Aventador. This has a Centennial rear bumper, SEMA build Lamborghini Aventador. This thing is crazy. As you can see, if you look on the inside, it matches the outside with all the red and the chrome wheels and the green and everything. This car is insane to say the least. Just look at the stance of this thing though. Like, this isn't even in race mode. In race mode, it's even lower to the ground. And this thing, I mean, you can barely fit your hand in there already. And then you got all the, you know, normal cars, R8s, Turbo S, Lotus, 488, and then another 488 and whatnot. But yeah, for this video, I think that's gonna be it, you guys. So thank you for watching. If you stick to the end, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. I think for the next video, I'm probably gonna be in LA. So look out for that.